here's a look at the three different <clears throat> landscapes we're gonna practice today so I've got my thumbnail design now I'm going in with my watercolor set I'm doing a wash just generally over areas I know the grass is gonna be green where I know the leaves are gonna be green a little blue in the sky some red for some houses or purple and a little bit of tree trunk color it's just a quick wash I'm not using a ton of paint it's more water really all right into the next one this is gonna be one we'll practice it's gonna be sort of a a picture of at the lake where some trees have fallen and crisscrossed against each other making an interesting design just a quick wash over the top This is a Mount Tom scene, Bray Lake, so you're going to have three local scenes that you'll know how to do a landscape design of if you go there or if you want to do it from home. Now we're going to go over drawing in the actual designs of each landscape. And we're going to draw a horizon line a little bit below halfway. Now we're going to draw another line for sort of a hilltop level. Now we've got a foreground, middle ground, and background. Now I'm going in and I'm going to sketch in this tree shape in the bottom right hand corner. I'm trying to wrap around and catch sort of the essence of the tree in a rhythm type shape and do about five or seven limbs then I'm gonna wrap around some leaf foliage and another little twig limb on the now I'm going into the landscape and I'm gonna do some rectangles and some triangles on top basically indicate sort of a little town or village or some houses at least I put in a few pine trees and when I do the pine tree I kinda do a little zigzag back and forth to up to a sharp point almost thinking like a Christmas tree. It would have been good to just leave it the way it was there. I go a little further here and I sketch in sort of like some tall grass in the field and some cloud shapes, but sometimes simpler is better. Probably didn't need to do all that. Basically you got three large shapes that make up a landscape. Some type of foreground, middle ground, and background in an interesting combination is really all you need. Now for the second one here, which is the trees kind of crisscross overlapping at the lake, we're going to also put the horizon line a little bit below halfway. And then the next major thing, I go for the next major thing, it's like this big tree that's fallen across is basically laying diagonally across the scene here with a branch sticking out. Then I'm actually doing the same tree, it's the reflection of itself in the water, that's why it looks the same. This next tree is sort of broken off and a top part of it is laying across making this crisscross shape. Now I've actually gone back in the background and added in some a bunch of the forest with trees that are a little smaller in scale and width that make them seem like they go back further and those trees are also going to mirror a little bit in this reflection right here in the lake. A little bit of shadow to make your eye go back Okay, now our last scene, get ready to draw. Here's my thumbnail box.
And so for this last landscape we're going to do, let's put the horizon line a little bit higher up than we normally do. It's a little more than halfway. Then I'm going to go in and do this outline of the top tree ridge that you'll see if you ever go to the Bray Lake at Mount Tom, up on the mountain in Hoyoke there. Um, then there's this nice little midsection that divides the painting. And then I'm going to do the reflection of the top half that's reflecting into the water. Uh, I didn't really draw that as good as I could have. It's not a perfect reflection, but it'll do, and reflections aren't always perfect. I'm doing some scribbling in here almost for like sort of an energy to the tree lines and a little bit of that reflection of clouds that's hitting the water as well. So if you've got your three thumbnails that you've practiced at this point, I'd like you to do three more of your own and then decide on which ones you'll be wanting to paint today.